today we are at CMA Hyundai Winchester, Virginia. Formerly Miller Hyundai. And we are buying a car today, boys and girls. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, CMA Hyundai of Winchester for not being a typical car dealership. And when I say that, the folks here at CMA do not sell their vehicles above sticker price. In this crazy market, I was able to get my wife a brand new vehicle that she is going to love and surprise her with today for not a penny over sticker. All right, guys. Right now, today, oh, there's a kitty cat in the road. Don't get hit. Right now, today, October 8th, 2022, I'm driving a brand new 2023 Hyundai Elantra. Never thought that I'd see the day that I would buy an Elantra. Never. Like, I posted a video years ago of a 2016, I think it was, Elantra, beating that thing up so badly, wailing on it. Elantra is a different animal now, like totally different. I bought a Santa Cruz, Hyundai Santa Cruz. If you're a follower of mine, you'll see that on the channel. If not, go check it out. It's a very nice ride. You can see the story behind why I bought that vehicle in the video of the Santa Cruz itself. But I just pulled out of the CMA Hyundai of Winchester parking lot in a brand new Elantra. I'm surprised my wife with this. Back before my wife and I got married, we made a lot of big decisions to ultimately unite as, as a married couple. And I sold several vehicles over the, the time frame of us dating. She then, after I sold my last vehicle, a Scion XB, she let me just take her car and use it full time until we got married those last few months. And then we traded her car, Veronica, the 2014 Chevy Cruze, for a 2022 Tacoma. Since then, she didn't have a car that was her own. And I know we're married, you know, how her and I are is what's, what's yours is mine, what's mine is yours. But I just bought the Santa Cruz and I've been taking that to work. That's kind of the vehicle that I drive most of the time. I really wanted to give my wife something that I knew she would be safe in at a good price. Something newer, really, in this market, it's hard to get a good deal on a used vehicle. So here I am. I love, love, love the exterior color of this thing, and I know that she's going to as well. It is Calypso Red, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I am giving up my beloved 2015 Chevrolet Impala Police Interceptor, and I am really going to miss this car. <laughs> I did pay to have 20% tint all around with a 5% strip up front. It's a little bit dirty right now, but really the purpose that this car has served is just a daily driver. And something that I'm gonna be bringing the dealership is a steering wheel, because I do have a steering wheel that's in like mint condition. I just never had the chance to install it. And I've had this car since June. So June, July, August, September, October, about five months I've had it. And in that time, I have put almost 3,000 miles on it. Six speed auto, 3.6 liter V6 cruise control. I did purchase the spotlight because it did not have a spotlight when I got it from my dad. And my dad gave me a great deal on this. I love these Impala police interceptors. This is not gonna be the last one of these that I own. I feel like I say that with each vehicle I own. I guess that's just simply due to the fact that each vehicle a car guy owns leaves a permanent spot in the car guy's heart. And this is my second Impala police interceptor with this powertrain, the 3.6 and the six speed auto with the 2.44 axle ratio. And I did put brand new tires on this thing. Goodyear Eagle RSA police grade tires. Look at the tread on those things. I put those on about a thousand or 2000 miles ago. This is a car that I really have enjoyed and I really just love. It's a blast driving on the highway. At the end of the day, I'm doing it for one reason and that's because I love my wife and I want her to have a nice new vehicle. 
And I know we just bought the Santa Cruz. I've been driving that to work. So now I'm gonna feel pretty good about her having a brand new car that is safe, reliable. She has a nice vehicle of her own to drive. So this Impala will definitely be missed. I just know that Beth is going to love it. I cannot wait to present this to her. She is home. She does not know that uh, we are about to surprise her with the car. And honey, I love you. I can't wait to give it to you and see the look on your cute little face as you now have your own little car to do whatever you want with anytime, anywhere, any place. 100% your car. Cannot wait. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, so I just made it home with the 2023 Hyundai Elantra. She likes red, I know that, so I'm sure she's gonna absolutely love it. Man, this thing is slick. All right. I'm gonna stop the video and tell her to come on out. <laughs> what do you do? What, you mean, I, what did, what you did do? I do? <laughs> what do you mean? What did I do? Open the garage oh, door. Go, go, go! Open the garage door. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> this is really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it is heavy, isn't it? <laughs> oh wow! I like that color. <laughs> you like that color? Mm -hmm. You sure? <laughs> yes. You like it a lot? You didn't have to do this today. <laughs> there you go. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> All yours. Thank you, doll. Go ahead. Get in. <laughs> I didn't know what you were saying. <laughs> kind of quiet, it sounds. It is quiet. Yeah. Brand new. <laughs> Should be quiet. I mean, the engine, like, it's like quiet. Yeah. It's very quiet. <laughs> it's quieter than my Santa Cruz. Now you have your own car that you can go anywhere with mm -hmm. anytime you want. Mm -hmm. And now I have my car that I can take to work. <laughs> it's a little hidden, hidden motive there. I'll buy you a car so I can have mine. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'm trust just kidding. me. No. But you can do whatever you want to this. That means I can go and crash it up though. <laughs> Please don't do that. Please I'm don't. Only kidding. Please don't. That's why my insurance I'm is high. Kidding. My insurance rates went up when I added you to my policy. I'm sorry. Well, it's because you're inexperienced. <laughs> don't record me. Don't record you. Why? Oh, why? God. You ready to go? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I tell the camera why I'm crying. <laughs> why are you crying? Tell everybody. I don't know why you're crying. Because you gave up your police car that you loved so much in order to get me this new car. Well, it's because I love you. So here we are. This is the 2023 Hyundai Elantra. And were you surprised, honey? I was. Well, I feel like I kind of knew what you were up to in a way because we had talked about it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, I didn't expect this specific car. And especially in that, like, that really nice red color. So All I was right. surprised. Yeah. Good. <laughs> so you were surprised, mission accomplished. So we set out, I set out, to find my lovely, beautiful wife a car to call her own. A little <laughs> bit of a backstory here. Before we got married, when we were dating, what was this, back in November, December-ish of 2021, we got married in January of 2022, and in uh, the fall of 2021, I went through a couple different cars that I sold and sacrificed if you want to say 
to ultimately get us to the point where we were united as one couple, married, and we were closing on our home. So I just made those sacrifices so we could have a nice home that we're in now. We're still in that house, and that house is, is a very nice home that we've been blessed to have. What I am getting at with that point is when I sold my vehicles, we lived about four hours apart before we were married. She just gave me her Chevy Cruze, Veronica, that you can see on the channel. Mm -hmm. And she just, at that point, before we were even married, was like, here, this is our car. And she just let me take it and drive it because at that point I needed it more than she did. Um, and with the back and forth, four hours apart, it was something that she sacrificed too. And really, in a relationship and a marriage, uh, what makes uh, a relationship and marriage strong when I found out over the past uh, several months almost a year of being married is that it takes a lot of sacrifice and I'm sure that you would say the same thing honey mm -hmm. but what I've done today is I went to our good friends at CMA Hyundai in Winchester Virginia same place that my mom bought her Hyundai Santa Cruz and I dealt with UK and the manager Andy there is very helpful um, it was very seamless. These guys did not charge a penny over sticker. They actually gave me a little bit of a, a discount. They gave me a really good amount that I was super happy with on the trade for the 2015 Impala. Aside from that, let's jump in and let's take a look at this car. So I wanted to get her something that she could call her own. After making that sacrifice and giving me her car, that was her first car too. And then we traded that for the 22 Toyota Tacoma, yes. which I know that you were okay with that, but I know you missed your car. Yes, I do. So I now, do. <laughs> she still does. Now you have your car back. Do you have the key? I do not. All right, here, I think I've got it. Push the lock button twice. Oh, okay. Quickly, like boom, boom. And do it again. You have to push it until it beeps. There you go. And then push and hold that. There we go. <laughs> so we have remote start. This is an SEL package. This is not going to be a review, but this is just kind of going to be like the Santa Cruz video I posted. Kind of a first impression. I'm going to feel my wife up. I mean, I'm going to feel my wife out <laughs> and see what her thoughts are. <laughs> see what her thoughts are of the car. <laughs> Uh oh. I like the, the sound of that. Behind the camera, she <laughs> likes the sound of that. Uh oh. All right. All right. Save it for later. Save it for later. So, first impression of the car. What do you think of it? I, re I really like it. I love the color. Describe your body to us. I mean, describe the body of the car <laughs> to us. <laughs> the body is, well, I know I told you this earlier. I kind of like these. I don't know. You probably know what they're called. Like the body the lines company. there? Yes. Kind of like up the there. Here, you see, like, I feel like it gives it like kind of a sporty look almost. It does, Obviously, doesn't it? Obviously, it's not a sports car, but I feel like, from my limited knowledge of cars, I've been observant enough to notice that there's a lot of this type of design on on like sports cars. Yeah. You know. Exactly. Um, I know it's not a sports car, but that's just something that I like, like as far as the aesthetics so, of it. So you like the. It's aesthetically pleasing, like yes. you. <laughs> All right, so you like that. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at this car, guys, and I'm just like, how in the world did Hyundai produce this? Oh, now, this too. I it's the a black, great looking car. Like, yeah, yeah. And, and the black too, the black, the black wheels. Black red is like, that's... It goes yeah. good. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of my EcoBoost Mustang that had the black you know, performance I of that pack earlier, wheels. But I didn't tell you. Did you really? Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah! Good minds take a leg. Okay. 205 55 R16s. These are Kumo uh Solus tires it looks like. Now the the car really just doesn't have a flat panel on it. You've got body lines everywhere and it's really just a bold aggressive looking car. I have been converted into a Hyundai fan since my mom bought her Santa Cruz and then I bought our Santa Cruz which I wanted to be my own <laughs> and that's the real reason I bought this car because I wanted a Santa Cruz myself and I'm, I'm just, the, teasing, just teasing well, just teasing you'll probably say that in a little bit but what, 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 what? dual controls whatever inside dual control oh I mean, yes we'll I get think that's what it's we'll get dual zone climate control Something like that. that's another thing you like right the dual zone climate control so okay yep. okay so we'll, we'll get there 
Now, what I'm gonna do, guys, come on over here, honey. And now you know how to get in and unlock it. So I want you to push that button. But you have to have the key with you to do that. Exactly. <laughs> now open the door. Now, once you're inside and you shut the door, you guys will see that everything should power on. Yep, you see that center unit powers on. The vehicle is ready to go. Turn those hazards on in the center there, will you, honey? The yep, right flashers there. All right, good. So, roll this down here. I'm gonna come around and get in there with you. It does have blind spot monitoring. Now, the sticker price of this one, I believe the window sticker is still in here, 23,435. The only options that this one has is the Calypso Red, which is well worth paying extra for. And then the cargo tray, cargo net, cargo blocks for $190. So it's only got $590 in options. And it just looks like it's it's worth more than that. I mean, it looks like it's a more upscale car than, than the $23,000 car. So let's hop in that passenger side. Now, what are some things that you like about the interior? First, I know you mentioned the dual zone climate controls, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, what else, when you look at this interior, what else do you like? I mean, I feel like I haven't really taken the time to look at it. I mean, I've looked at it, but I feel like I'm not really sure. <laughs> <laughs> not sure. I thought this was kind of interesting because it's kind of like a, I don't yes. really know what that's so this, supposed this to is, be for. This is when your wife drives <laughs> in a way that makes like you, you very nervous <laughs> so when she takes turns and it's like <laughs> actually i can, I can when hold you... <laughs> me i'm safe oh come on You're driving like 100 miles an hour that way. <laughs> i do not drive 100 miles an hour with you in the car actually well maybe in the police car <laughs> or i was gonna say or if in the police car but no when nobody's in there see i can put my life in danger but not yours no, you can't. Okay, all right, never mind, never mind. All right, all right, all right. So, looking here at the center, we've got the shifter, obviously here in the center. We've got, push that, you can view the backup camera right there, drive modes, and it gives us sport mode, smart mode, and normal mode. And it's got 81 miles on the odometer right now. It's got a digital speedometer display. I kind of played around with this a little bit. On the way home, I noticed I was getting 40.1 miles to the gallon. Now that she's driving it, it's getting less gas miles because she has a heavier foot on the gas pedal. <laughs> but no, not really. That That's, you guys know, that's not going to be accurate for quite some time being a brand new vehicle. But um, uh, trip meters and so forth in there. Our tachometer, speedometer. This steering wheel setup is very similar to my Santa Cruz. And it's got the uh, Hyundai your arm is blocking the <laughs> <laughs> I'm like it's got the hunt and she's like <laughs> it's got the Hyundai actually why don't you model that with your pumpkin nails <laughs> it's got the right here, ready? it's got the right there. it's got the steering assist right right there it's got the steering assist if you oh. press that button on right the there. other side of the pumpkin fingernail then you have steering assist <laughs> on the other side. We've got Bluetooth controls. It has wireless volume. Yep volume Bluetooth and audio controls It has wireless Apple CarPlay just like the Santa Cruz does and maybe this is something that Hyundai does now The Santa Cruz and the new Elantra here for 2023 That's really the only new Hyundai's that I've been in I haven't set foot inside of a Hyundai in in several years and they've just drastically improved Sometimes when you get in a car, it's like hard to see everything. Like you're like, what's that? What's that? I feel like everything here. It's all accessible for you, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I, I like that too, because you can be driving and you've got your radio, your climate controls, everything's right there for you. So it's-, it's And the wheel is very like smooth. Everything is very smooth. Yeah. The smooth ride. And it's, it's <laughs> compact, but it's not too small. So I feel like you're, you're gonna be safe in it. And that's mm -hmm. really, when I was looking for something to get you, I wanted you to have something that was easy for you to navigate in. Yeah but be safe at the same time. Mm -hmm. I've got my phone GPS, wireless, obviously you can see, not connected to any wires there. And I've got my GPS right up on the screen there. I really like that for you, honey, because 
you know, just navigating wherever you might need to go. You're gonna be able to pull the GPS up on your iPhone, put in a destination, and it's just gonna display right there. So mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about cords and everything here. I really like that for you. I, I like that too. So. <laughs> it's kinda easier when you're driving, you don't have to like look down at your phone, you can just be like, it's right there. <laughs> exactly. Now That's I want like you to hop out, sweetheart. I want you to get in that back seat. <laughs> Dive out. <laughs> I want you to get in that back seat and we're going to cover this a little more in depth in another video. It is getting kind of dark out so I guess we'll get to take a look at the night lighting as well. So we'll take a look more at the front interior aspects in a more thorough review but now this seat is in her position which means that if you're taller than 5'5", five five, she's what are you 5'1", five, five right? Yes. If you're <laughs> taller than 5'1", actually, if you're 5'5", five five or above when you get in the driver's seat your knees are going to be touching the radiator so <laughs> this is in a position for her she's got like 10 miles of leg room right here <laughs> literally i mean this this is like limousine like leg room back but here see, it's comfortable for me up there and it's exactly pretty comfortable for anybody sitting now right here. they say the true test of leg room is put the seat in a position that's comfortable for you and then get in the back seat and see what the back seat leg room is like when you're short it, it's just like it doesn't do it justice so what i'm going to do is go ahead and get out i'm going to put the seat in my position okay well i'm going to stay here right no you get out oh. so let's see here i'm about five eight this is about a position that i would have here that way my legs are just normal my arms like are just back when you drive anyway. i like to be a little bit more reclined back exactly look at this still got about four to five inches of leg room here nice solid backing here to the seats i feel like that could be misconstrued as cheap quality looks like my dad is calling but at the same time i wouldn't say it's necessarily cheap i wouldn't use that word i would just say it's uh it's an economy car it's a compact car that's on a budget affordable car this right here is going to be nice when you have kids or people getting in and out their feet scuff this or hit this it's not going to like ruin or damage your cloth it's just going to be a plastic backing there. Mm -hmm. I didn't think of that. That's... Exactly. Isn't, isn't that pretty good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look how wide these back doors are. This is like a... <laughs> it's so wide. It's like as wide as a small truck's tailgate. <laughs> Look at it. It's like huge. I know. I tell you, I am really just loving what Hyundai is doing with their vehicles. <laughs> this is your car, not mine now. <laughs> I tell you what. You take Santa Cruz. I will take this, okay? <laughs> All right, what I want you to do we'll right share, here we'll is share. back of camera. We will share, yes. You'll share this and then I'll have the same for myself. Just tease. Right there, push that little button right there with your pumpkin nails. And on the way up, notice Elantra. Mm -hmm. I like that and I also like over here how the, the little, little, uh, dirt little piece of dirt. Mm -hmm. I like how the little A is like an upside down B. It just, I think it looks looks really cool it looks elegant it's almost like an arrow kind of elegant. it's elegant like classy. me elegant like me elegant classy and sassy Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so back here we've got a decent sized trunk oh this comes with the car too okay yes that comes with the car too <laughs> so does this manpower to clean it so <laughs> man meat <laughs> man meat we can't we gotta take that out of the video we will all right I maybe i don't know when i edit i might just leave it so all right so i just pulled those i didn't feel anything click but i do know that's how okay yeah so evidently i did it the right way there those seats fold down giving you a nice amount of cargo space to get the haul longer objects and honey i would say that this is a little bit uh I would say it looks a little bit bigger than your cruise did. Don't don't you think, think it's so. bigger? I think um I think I'm What to check to dimensions on I'm that? I'm trying to remember with the cruise I thought that those seats didn't come down or if they did like it was still like like the, the trunk only they came were, like out to there. Yeah, the the trunk wasn't as deep in the cruise. No. Go ahead and get in like you did with the cruise. No, I'm just teasing you. See. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I like how it does not have um I mean, you can get them with a spoiler, but even when it doesn't have a spoiler, you've got this super slick body line that like comes up here and it's almost like a V and an arrow and it just like goes straight up and then it comes really back like here <laughs> and then it continues there and that same body line that starts all the way up there turns into, it's almost like an integrated spoiler. 
it, it's just it's really slick looking isn't it? And then well, I said it almost looks like sport, like a like, sporty. like a sports car exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then you've got this body line here. There is not a flat panel on this car that I have noticed. Everything is even the bumpers. It's just all just like right here is the only flat section of the car. They have uh, like this very like kind of like symmetrical like yeah futuristic. <laughs> 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 I guess I'm just Sometimes I'm not good with explaining what I'm trying to say. But I understand. I understand what I'm trying to say. I understand. Don't I know. I'm trying to say it. <laughs> Let me take a look under the hood for everyone, and then we'll have you do a little drive around the parking lot, and then we'll get going because it's getting dark. Yes. We it's actually <laughs> we have a good opportunity to get what these lights look like, so we've almost got a nighttime look for you guys too. And I think this thing's going to look really cool at night. <laughs> She's like, <"Ugh." laughs> she bends the hood on the first day of owning it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not gonna mess. <laughs> Deadlifting the hood, honey, it won't open. I get home and it's like bent and broken. So this is the two-liter, four-cylinder, 16-valve, smart stream engine by Hyundai uh, for the Elantra. This is a, a very solid Hyundai motor. I will uh, list the specifications on this for you guys to see. Again, not going too in depth with uh, quoting the um, specifications because this is not really intended to be a review and I did not research before this. I just wanted to get that first impression video because I think it's really cool to get the day one first impression. Mm -hmm. Plus this is a, a surprise video for, for you. This is gonna be <laughs> mingled in with all that. So, all right. Go ahead and hop in, baby, and I want you to take it around the parking lot and... I go baby out on there and then turn yeah. around. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, there we go. That's a quick look, first impression, surprise video for my wife of her 2023 Hyundai Elantra. Mm -hmm. I love you very much. I love you too. Just a very small way to show you that I love you. Compared to you and yeah. our life and our love and our marriage. It's pretty big. This is nothing. I love you. <laughs> you guys stay tuned. Comment your thoughts of the video, the car. Share any experiences with Hyundai that you might have. Rate the video. Subscribe Dave if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys. We will see you guys in the next one.